In sport, concussions are among the hardest injuries to diagnose, with players often being too willing to fight through the fog to stay in the game but risk serious injury. But a new grant and new research at the University of Victoria could change that. And as Petty Fong reports, the project is backed by a BC-raised NHLer. A hit on the ice, a fall to the ground. Any parent watching their kid play fears that moment. Now researchers at the University of Victoria are part of a team studying how concussion affects young people. They say standardized research and data is needed so scientists can better understand the symptoms of a traumatic head injury. Any time they get a concussion, their ability to perform the game drops dramatically, almost in half. While researchers know what happens after a concussion, it is before the young athlete is hit that they still need to gather info for. A new software program called NeuroTracker helps children figure out what their baseline reaction time is after a concussion by um, testing them before they get hit. We want to see if that can help us predict when um, children can go back on ice. So we're looking at baseline levels and when children um, have gotten back to that level after a concussion. There is more awareness now than ever before about the impact of concussions. NHL star Sidney Crosby missed some of his prime playing years because of concussions. This BC-born NHL player says he's witnessed the impact of too many hits. You hear the stories about them sitting in a, in a dark room for days and it's, uh, it's very upsetting and I've, I've seen it firsthand and, it's, and you see the people and they're just not the same person and it's knock on wood I've been fortunate to have a couple concussions, nothing serious but it's uh, it's a very sad thing when someone does sustain a, a massive brain injury. The research is being tested on 200 young hockey players in Victoria, aged 6 to 17, with the goal of improving safety in sports at all levels. Petty Fong, CBC News, Vancouver.